Okay, so um, what I want us to get practice with today is figuring out how to use these two equations. Um, I did not derive these in class, but the derivation is there in those pre-lecture videos if you're interested. I mean, it comes from simple geometry. So what we want to do is use this thin lens e and magnification equation to look at what happens when we have combinations of lenses. When we do that, it's particularly important to keep track of these sign conventions. F is positive for a converging lens. It is negative for a diverging lens. So you should pull out your clickers. So this we said before, and again, the rationale for this, the way to remember this for either mirrors or lenses is to think, okay, which is the instance in which I can get a real image? The thing that can produce a real image for me is the one which will have the positive focal length. So in the case of lenses, converging lenses can produce real images, like here. Diverging lenses, what's going to happen is once the light ray hits there, the light is going to diverge, and so it'll never meet on this side of the lens. It'll only appear to meet on this side of the lens, so that has a negative focal length. This is the less intuitive one. The object distance is positive if the object is in front of the lens. The object distance is negative if the object is behind the lens. And you might ask, well, when is the object behind the lens? How can an image an object if it's behind the lens? So this second thing, the second pair of things arises when I have lenses in combination. Because what could happen is that I can have light going through the first lens, it produces an image. Now I could place this second lens either here, in which case the object for this lens is this first image that's formed here. Okay, and then that object is has a positive object distance because the object is in front of the lens. But if I took this lens and I placed it over here, Basically, what I'm saying is the first lens is producing an image there. That is now the object for my second lens. But I have placed that lens in front of that image, meaning the object distance for this is now negative. Does everyone understand that? Any questions about that? Now, this again is more intuitive. It's related to whether the image is real or virtual. And once again, this intuition works best if you're thinking of a single lens. So if I have, a, I'll have a positive image distance if I have a real image. So if it's formed to the right of the lens, so this will have a positive image distance. However, if light rays after going through the lens tend to diverge such that I have an image that is forming to the front of the lens, which is where the light rays don't actually meet, but they appear to meet, then that will be a virtual image and the image distance will be negative. And the magnification is the same as it was for uh, mirrors. That is to say it's positive for an upright image, negative for an inverted image. It's larger than 1 in magnitude if the image is larger than the object. It's smaller than 1 in magnitude if the image is smaller than the object. 